Hello and in this screencast for Apache ISIS I want to show you how we can use another add-on which is this time to show your domain objects within a calendar. Uh, what I've done is I've extended my domain object here to introduce a new um, date property, next appointment. Um, that's implemented um, through this property and uh, I've also updated my fixture script to choose a random date in the next 60 days. So let's stop the application and uh, let's make the change. We're going to go to the ISIS add-ons uh, website and you can see there's lots of modules here. The one we're after this time is the full calendar 2 uh, module um, which has got its own github repo. Um, there are screenshots and so forth and details about how to um, how to set it all up. We'll run through that all and the starting point is to get hold of this dependency and I'm going to make the change to my DOM module and the reason I'm making the change here is because uh, in order for the domain objects to be rendered in the calendar they need to implement an interface and so that's why we have it here and that interface is called well actually there are two I'm going to go with a simpler one for this uh, uh, screencast it's called calendar eventable and there are two methods to implement which is the calendar that this domain object lives on and also the actual event itself so I'm going to use the color um, of this object to be uh, converted into a name, uh, converted to a string, which I'll use the name, I should say. Otherwise, we'll use um, some sort of dummy string. Uh, and then in the to calendar event, I need to return a calendar event, uh, which is a value type defined by the module. Um, and I can use the get next appointment. So if that's non null, then return the new calendar event and this uh, else return null and this is going to return uh, re require three things so firstly the actual uh, date so I can go with to date time at start of day then a calendar name well that's just the value of the calendar name and then finally a title so I could use title if that existed as a method it's some label to represent this domain object within the calendar or another thing I could do what I'm going to use here is there's a service called the title service and this is a very simple little chap that's basically gives me the ability to ask for the title for any object and in particular for this one okay so that's the uh, changes made let's run up the app and try it out and with the app now running let's take a quick look and so we've got some objects that have been created and now on the drop down here you can see we have calendar as a new option and I can click on that and I get this representation uh, this here is the title I can use that as a drill down into the domain object and you can also see that anywhere else we have a collection of these objects that um, we have the same uh, drop down as well uh, these checkboxes here allow us to do filtering and that's um, that's the calendar name that you saw as part of the interface okay so um, that's how you go about making the change um, as ever give it a go try it out